Hi there. What about today we draw one of the brackets overall of our pulley assembly? So let's consider our bracket being in a, in a carbon steel having dimensions in millimeters. So what we're going to do is we're going to go new with it and then we go metric, new standards, standard millimeter we go create. So here what we're doing is we're going to try to draw this line here just for guidance in case of that line V and I want the dimension of the line to be uh, somewhere in V, let's see uh, 200 millimeters. We're not going to use it though, but uh, we just need it to be V. So in case we need it, it's already there. So I'm going to start by, I'm gonna start by drawing a rectangle and I want my rectangle to be 72 millimeters so that need to be 72 millimeters is the size of the base and uh, this one here need to be 10 millimeters and uh, i want from the to here to be 36 millimeters just to make sure that my axis is crossing the center of my drawing escape and then i drag it back there that is done so here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the circle here. So I'm gonna have two circles. My first, my second, and that's why I need to be uh, 30 millimeters. And the second one needs to be uh, 12 millimeters. So that's done. I come here with my line just to draw my side. So that's my first line. That's my first line. And uh, here is my second line. So from the to here, that's my second line. So now I need to make sure that there is tangent to that. There is tangent to that. It is. So which means the dimension from here to here should be 30 millimeters. So escape that 30 millimeters. So what next is I'm gonna try to trim this part because I don't need it. I'm gonna trim to this. I'm gonna try to trim there and here, and uh, I'm gonna go with uh, my arc. So from here to the, so there we go. That's my first arc. And then my second one. So from here to the, there we go. And then I want this to be tangent to that and uh, this to be tangent to that i want that to be tangent to that and this to be tangent to that and then the next thing i want is the dimension so i want that one to be having a radius of uh, 15 millimeters the same apply here 15 millimeters 15 millimeters and the next thing that I want is I want from the come on I want my dimension from the to here to be 50 millimeters so that needs to be 50 millimeters that's that's great and then I need to have my step that you're seeing there so sorry my step you see there is a step here there is a step here so I need to have that step on my drawing so what i'm gonna do is that's correct yeah what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to draw that line and uh there is my line yeah just for interest sake that need to be a uh, part to that great and uh, this need to have a size of six six millimeters so that needs to be six millimeters the next thing is i'm gonna trim the excessive drawing the side there and then I'm gonna come here, do the same thing. So I'm gonna trim that part. It's correct, yeah. It's correct, yeah. So I'm gonna trim this part as well. If there's anything excessive. So that's great. I'm gonna come there. I say trim. Trim that part. That's great. I'm gonna come this side here. Yeah. Anything excessive here? Yeah? nothing excessive so that is done so I'm gonna trim that spot and this one so that is great what else now 
I think everything is done now. Okay, so I'm gonna go and say finish sketch. Once this is done, I go on extrude. Okay, so now I want to extrude this part here. I want to extrude this part here. So I want this one here to go six millimeter, six millimeters this side here and 30 millimeters the other way so 50 millimeter this way 30 millimeter the other way then i say okay so there you go after that i say visibility so i can see my drawing there i go extrude again and i create this part here so I want that one to go that other way, okay, by 30 millimeters. There you go. <coughs> there you go. So that done. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to punch extrude again. So I want this here, the body, to go the other way by 8 go the other way by eight millimeters so eight millimeters so like that okay the next thing is, is I go on extrude again okay so here I want to select my circle so I select come on my circle then I want it to go oh uh, <coughs> let's see uh, I copy the drawing so it needs to go five millimeters this side and eight millimeters the other side so I say okay that's being done okay so that is done the next thing that I need to do is um, on my drawing here is this part here okay so I'm gonna come back here, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on a drawing plane here. So what drawing plane? Yeah, so XZ. And I'm gonna go a little bit up, let's see up to V. Okay. I say fine. I click on it, new sketch, okay very go so what i'm gonna do next is i'll try to uh, to draw a line that's something for guidance and then i'm gonna try to draw a second line which is for guidance as well okay so i'm gonna draw my first circle and then my second one and i want from the to here to be 48 millimeters so that's need to be 48 millimeters and i want from here today to be 24 millimeters so that's need to be 24 millimeters and from the to here that need to be uh 19 that's need to be 19 okay and uh i want this one here to be 12 millimeters so 12 millimeters each this one as well so 12 millimeters so that's done what next i want this from the to here to be 19 as well so that's 19 okay so 19 both sides okay uh, and i want to drag this one back there come on uh, great okay and then i say finish sketch so i need to put an hold here that's one and that's one so let's go by this 100 okay and then i need to cut both sides so there we go i say okay so this is how it goes so now i need to draw 
what port now? This port here. So I come back there. I select this drawing plane. Which one? Why is it? New sketch. Okay. It's chose to be like that. So there is my first line. So I want a line from the to the up to here, then going back. The dimension, so I want that one. I want this one here to be 40 millimeters, which is great. And uh, I say finish sketch. I punch extrude. So that's one day need to go both sides by 10 millimeters so 10 millimeters so that is 10 millimeters so that is done so now look at how your drawing looks like right so what you have to do next now is uh, to put to cut radius here so that you punch fillet so your fillet need to be uh 12 millimeters the same way the sides the fillet need to be uh 12 millimeters so that is 12 millimeters you see okay so that is done what you do is you remove the visibility you remove visibility today you remove that is removed so you come here you remove the visibility of this working plane so this is how your bracket looks like at the end. So it looks beautiful. Okay. So what you have to do now is to choose the material. So what material would you like the bracket to be in? Uh, so let's say um, stainless carbon. Sorry, carbon steel. Sorry, carbon steel. Yes. So that is carbon steel. So it looks beautiful. Ah, that's great. So we did it. So it was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you're going to enjoy it. And uh, I'm hoping to see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Don't forget to share if you'd like to share this one. And for now, I'm going to say bye.